Hi, I'm Swill and I've been to 50 national parks. Today, I'm gonna take you to one of the best ones. Welcome to Dead Valley, one of the most amazing places in the US. Today, we're gonna go to the lowest point on the continent, far below sea level. We're gonna climb some of the most amazing sand dunes to one of the driest places in North America. Did you know that? For a long time, this used to be one of the hottest places on Earth. There are many geological phenomena here. We're gonna go and explore. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't miss out the full story about the wild donkeys. Thanks for watching. Well, we're heading north from Salton Sea in Southern California through a couple of beautiful pit stops and a massive sandstorm. This park is the biggest of the lower 48 national parks. We go into Dante's view on top of the mountain range uh, with a beautiful overlook of the entire basin. That is depression with over 11,000 feet difference with the surrounding mountains. The edge of the fault creates some unique tectonics like those by Zibriski Point that you can really enjoy very colorful futures. Next, we're gonna head up on Artist Drive to the end of the Artist Palette, where a bunch of different minerals give different colors to the hills deposited there by tectonic activity. Another wonderful hike is the Golden Canyon, where early prospectors used to mine for borax. Next, we're gonna go to the Salt Flats to see the Devil's Golf Course. Those are some extremely sharp salt deposits. One of the most beautiful places in this park is the Massacred Sand Dunes. It's in a real desert that will challenge you. You'll be dehydrated and you'll be seeking shadow like this kid right behind me. It's easy to underestimate the seriousness of the environment, as I did. I didn't grab any water with me. The distance is deceiving. I thought it's just right there. And halfway there, I start getting dehydrated. I was looking for the shade and the dryness just sucks the life out of you. All of a sudden, the dunes look further and further away. You get a little disoriented, dry, a slight headache settles in. Trouble. So thirsty. Water. Water. I begged that guy. Thanks God he shared his own. As soon as I took a sip, my entire mood changed. Now it was time to play. I quickly made some friends with the water guy and here I go on his surfboard that he carried all the way here. Some of the dunes are about 200 feet tall, so it's a long way down. Dune surfing is one of the coolest things that you can do in this park. It's such an interactive thing. It's hard to climb back up, but with some rest and a little bit of water, you can do it. It almost matches up a leg workout, this dune hiking and surfing. I loved it. Some of the kids didn't have surfboards, so they just roll the hills. Such a blessing. Just enjoy, play is free. Your soul will love you. And as soon as we pass the sea level mark, we start descending below. Here we have three geographical records. The lowest place in North America, the driest place on the continent, and the hottest place on Earth. In 1913, here is measured the absolute maximum of air temperature, 134 Fahrenheit or 56 Celsius. Why that is? Because all the hot air gets trapped, unable to escape because of its enormous mountains surrounding the valley. Sierra Nevada's rain shadow doesn't allow more than a couple of inches of rain to penetrate and that creates salt flats that reflect even further the sunlight and makes it even hotter. Spectacular place that I was blessed to visit twice. The first time I had to go back to Vegas. 
But the following year, I returned with an RV van and I spent a few days in it. We witnessed a sandstorm and then as we were leaving, making some pancakes, something unique happened. It rained, which usually happens only every few years. So there was a rain as we were leaving. How lucky we are. What a place, Dead Valley. One of the most beautiful places in the US. As I was leaving the second time, I witnessed wild donkeys or burrows. Right there, on the side of the road. Peacefully walking, more than 20 of them. Being together in battling the elements, looking for water, I suppose. Dead Valley is remarkable. Please check out some of my other videos on my journey to every national park in the US. Subscribe to my channel so you never miss out. Thank you for watching, for your time. See you in the next one.